Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where the tin shed is gone, and all the stuff that was under the roof of the tin shed is now over here, in our lovely second floor warehouse storage room type thing, which is all very good, and I think the plan today is to work on that floor a little bit more, so maybe get rid of those roofs over there, because apparently we can do that, lots of people in the comments have said that we can just take the roofs off, and it doesn't leave a gaping hole into the room below, it's just kind of got this kind of base level ceiling type type thing here. So we can get rid of those roofs and then expand that room out a little bit, maybe get some more bedrooms up there, maybe get another lovely lounge type thing over here, that'd be quite good. And then if we can, if we have the time and the resources, it would be good if we could get some flak cannons set up on the corners here just to deal with any aerial baddies that might come along you know troublesome flying creatures if we could shoot at them a bit with some new guns that would be quite handy indeed so we'll see if we can get maybe one of them set up i'm not quite sure but we'll give it a go however right now we've got to deal with some ground-based baddies like we can see over here so we've got coming to attack us very soon three manhunting glutches 16 scarabay and three explosive scarabay and i don't think they're far away yeah they're only over there look they're only over there so they're very very nearby so when the attack actually commences it's not going to take that long for them to be upon us the only thing is let's tick time on a bit because i don't quite know how long it's going to take until they attack and it looks like everybody's asleep Everybody is currently in bed. Oh no, hang on, Annette isn't in bed. I mean, Nova's on a trip out, so Nova's not here at all. But no, there you go. Annette is currently harvesting. You've decided that midnight is the perfect time to go out there and do some gardening without any shoes on. Oh yeah, we're lacking shoes. Actually, hang on, that is something we do need to do, actually. Hang on a minute. A few people have pointed this out. Let's drop down a level, shall we? So over at the tailoring bench thing, we are making sure we have seven hats in stock, and then seven sets of summer pants, seven lots of t-shirts, and then seven lots of shoes. But I mean, it's taking a long while to get down to the shoes at the bottom of the list there. So a few people in the comments have said, why not just drop this until you say have three hats in stock? And then when it gets below that, they'll run over and make some more hats. And then do the same for the summer pants, do the same for the t-shirts, and do the same for the shoes. So it's more likely that people can go and grab, you know, an entire sort of clothing replacement rather than having to wait for ages. So I think that's actually quite a good idea. So how about we go like that? Down to three of each of those. And then maybe, maybe if they get that sorted nice and quick, Annette might be able to put on some shoes. How is everybody else doing for clothing? I think I had a quick look last time. So, okay, right. So you're doing all right apart from the lack of footwear. You're okay. You are out on an expedition and hopefully, hopefully you will bring back some clothing because we asked you to bring back any kind of items of clothing that you could find. So maybe some lovely jackets or whatever, that'd be good. You're okay. You are okay. Though your shoes are looking a little bit threadbare as well. Possibly need to get some sort of you know, camp cobbler going on. Uh, that's all right, I suppose. Your hat looks a little bit kind of worn and your stuff's okay because of course you've not been around that long. Okay, okay, right, that's fine. So hopefully that might allow Annette to get some shoes on sooner rather than later. Because, uh, yeah, she's out here at the moment doing the gardening, just, you know, in barefoot, which it might be quite nice, might be quite liberating, I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. Be careful, though, Annette, if you are using kind of like a machete knife type thing, whatever it is, don't get your feet. Don't get your feet. That would be, that would be unfortunate. Hang on, hang on. Now there's only two of those. Uh, are, we, are we being helped by the local wildlife? I think we might be. I think the local wildlife might have possibly perished, but I think, yeah, there's now only two manhunting glitches. Weren't there three? Weren't there three of those when we started? Where is the dead one? That one is very dead. Okay, and hang on a minute, and there's some scarabay there as well that have died. Okay, <laughs> thank you, local wildlife. Is there any more local wildlife fighting? I don't think so. I think it was that thing that came in and got a bit grumpy with them all. And let, oh, hang on. No, no. There's a thing there as well. There's a noth. The noth is being chased by a beetle bug type thing. Okay. Are they going to carry on fighting? No, the noth is running away. Um. Okay. Right. Do you know what? Let's just run time quickly on until the animals start their attack. Because then we can figure out what we're doing. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. We're down another bug, are we? Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Again, thank you, local wildlife. Thank you. This is why we haven't really gone out and done much in the way of hunting of the local wildlife, because yeah, they do tend to help us out a bit. Right, here we go. So they start their proper attack. I'm sorry, everybody. I do apologise. I realise you're all in bed. In fact, Annette, no. 
don't draft a net because she's just out there doing some sort of farming and stuff. That's all fine. But everybody else, draft. Okay, they're coming in this way. So Ember's got a good shot on her. Um, who else is actually, who actually, who's good at combat? Three, four, four, three, and two. Okay, so I think that maybe pop Vanessa in that one because if they are coming this way, she might be able to get some shots in over that wall there. A few people have said we should replace that wall with a low wall so we can get some more shots in and the guns can fire, you know, a slightly, you know, a slightly lower wall there to get more hits in. That might be a good idea. That might be quite a good idea. I'm not really sure what the logic was of having the high wall just there. If we can have a low wall in. So maybe that's something else we could work on as well. Right, Talas. Go up there. Yoko go just there. And then Jayla go there for now. Jayla just kind of hang around over there. That's okay. So let's get the attack underway. I am hoping... I'm hoping that the shooty guns can pick off a few of these. Are these the explodey ones? Yeah, these are the explodey ones. Oh, hang on, you're bleed. You're already injured. Okay, that's good. Right, activate shooty guns... They are exploding next to the walls. That's the only issue. I think the walls are okay. Okay, right, everybody. One is breaching the defences. But we're doing okay. We're doing okay. There is a lot of shooting going. Where are the big, the big things? Okay, they're making their way in. It's just taking a long time because they're quite big and slow. So now we're down to three scarabay and two manhunting glutches. And these are taking their merry old time. Come along. Come along, we all want to go back to bed just for a little bit of a nap there. Oh, here comes <laughs> here comes Dave the drone just doing some, some transporting. I think did Dave the drone just drop off some resources over at the fence there to repair it? Okay, right, Ember firing at one of the big things. Shooty guns taking that down. The other scarabay is gone. I think there's one scarabay there. That thing is now gone. The other scarabay is gone. That thing's been stunned, I think. So then it was just a bit of a free-for-all. Okay, it's going to do its kind of weird sort of gas thing. But we know actually it's not gas, is it? It looks a bit like it's, you know, done a, it's let one off a little bit there. But no, we know that that's not actually gas. It's some sort of coating on its skin, isn't it? And then when it wriggles, it kind of comes off and it creates a sort of a, a sort of cloud in the air. But it's not like internal gas or whatever. Right, there we go. Well done, everybody. You can all now undraft. Wonderful. And then... We will go like that, and right, so where are we? So, two manhunting glitches, butcher those, scarabay, butcher, explosive scarabay, butcher, but also over here, look, there is a shogu. That also died in the attack, so it would be quite good if we could get that, and then over here as well, look, we've got manhunting glitch, and four uh, scarabay that are dead. So we'll oh, hang on, hang on, there's another, that shogu's dead, that one is also... Oh, okay, butcher that if you can. That one looks like it's been picked at a little bit by um by the local wildlife. But there we go. That's absolutely fine. Right, wonderful. Another attack repelled. And then people can go and do various bits and bobs. Yeah, repairing that fence now, which is probably quite good. Yeah, five damage structures. So here we go, actually. While nothing else is going on, how are we going to do this? So can we replace the high up fence there with the low fence? So fortification is, that's just the big high up walls, isn't it? Okay, so we don't want that. We want a fence. So a pole fence. So if we go like that, no. Okay, so the game is saying, no, you can't do that. That's silly because there's already something there. So we'll have to do this in sort of sections, I think. So if we just do this carefully, hang on. So if we click like that, I don't want to take anything down that shouldn't be taken down is what I'm thinking. Right. Um. Oh. Repair. Okay. I, oh, yeah. They, no, sorry. Deconstruct. That's what we want. Deconstruct it all. Maybe don't even bother about repairing it. Ignore that. Just d dismantle. Take it apart, please. Destroy. Right. There we go. So we've got plenty of jobs on the way. You can all do all that kind of stuff. I don't know how far away Nova is. I'm not quite sure where Nova is, but never mind. We've researched distillation. We are flying through the research. I'm amazed how quickly we're doing it. And they've already done that, which is pretty good. So I think... Let's get that back in then. So bring that across like that and then across to there. Okay, so that's less wood as well, which is pretty handy. Um, it also does mean that maybe on that corner we could have another shooty gun. We could get another shooty gun just there. And I wouldn't mind another tower. 
now that we have got seven people, there's only one who's not bothered about about fighting. I don't think Annette's that bothered, but we have got these six. So if we had two towers here facing sort of inwards, they can turn around and fire wherever, but they're sort of facing toward the mazy sort of bit over here. So those two towers face in, those two towers face in. Could we have a tower here facing out that way and then a tower here facing out that way? So they can get some shots in on things coming toward us before they even get round the corner. That might be quite a good idea. I think that would be quite useful if we could make that work. So how about we get another tower and we pop that. Uh, hang on, rotate, rotate. There we go, like that. So people can still sort of walk around. Um, oh, hang on. Is that? No, hang on. That wasn't in the middle. <laughs> that wasn't in the middle and that will annoy me. There we go. That's a... Oh, hang on. Okay, now there isn't really a middle. Okay, that'll have to do. It's not quite central, but there we go. That will have to do. And then if we can also take down all these wall bits as well, that would be handy. So take down all of that, deconstruct, and then all of these high up bits here, like so. Deconstruct those, run time on, nice and quick. Oh, the balloon's coming back. Okay, right, hang on. What have you bought back, Nova? because I am intrigued. Show us the, the spoils of war here. Okay, we've got, an, ooh, just a regular shirt. Oh, it's a, we've, okay, we've figured out what shirts are. <laughs> I would have thought, I would have thought, you're all clever people. You've built, you've built like amazing batteries and hot air balloons and solar panels. I would have thought maybe you might have had an idea of how a shirt works, but okay, maybe now we have a shirt we can sort of, I don't know, copy it or whatever, but okay, right, so now we've got shirts. Uh, can I have a look at the shirt? Am I allowed to see what it does? Can we see what you're transporting? Just two items of clothing. Oh, you're transporting, um, like, trousers or whatever they are. Okay, um, trousers. Oh, yeah, I think it is just three pairs of trousers. Yes, yeah, so we've got two shirts. Okay, so heat tolerance. It, yeah, these are bad. The shirts are bad. Okay, that's not wonderful, is it? Never mind. Okay, let's have a look at these as well. So Nova comes through. There's Dave the drone just flying around. Right, okay. Show me what these are about. Or trousers. Heat tolerance. Yeah, it isn't good. That that was not a, that wasn't a good find. Because yes, now we've got some trousers that aren't good for heat tolerance. And uh, I mean they're sort of okay, but we can make our own. So do you know what? We're going to dismantle these for fabric. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then... Oh, where have they gone? Somebody's very helpfully moving them around. I think Yoko's moving them. Okay, so into there. And then we've got, yeah, the two shirts, which again are no good for heat tolerance. When we've got our own sort of t-shirts that are pretty good for that. Yeah, so okay, get rid of that and get rid of that. Bother. Okay, not a wonderful trip out, but never mind, not to worry. Okay, we'll send her another one later on. Toxic ash. Botherations. Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. It's okay, because for a lot of the time, we are going to be inside. We have researched brick rooms, which is very good. So we can now make buildings out of bricks, but we have to get some bricks. So bricks is five lots of something... I assume it's going to be clay of some kind. Turns into... No, three lots of something. Turns into five bricks. Okay. Um, so let's have a look then in here. So I think it said in the furnace. So let's... Ah, bake. Here we go. So we can bake hay and clay-rich soil into bricks. Hay? Is that how that works? <laughs> We've got loads of hay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm surprised. I thought it would be clay. But no, apparently it's hay and clay-rich soil into bricks. I assume the game is assuming that the hay also comes with some sort of soil attached to it still. So we can bake it all and turn it into bricks. Right. Okay. So that's good. So now we can make... Oh yeah. We can make brick roofs. Can we make brick walls? Um, Bricks... No, we can't right now because we haven't baked bricks in a furnace. We can change that around pretty quickly, can't we? Hang on. Do some baking. Bake some bricks um, until... I don't know. Let's enter. we've got 
uh, 200 bricks because we have got a lot of hay. We've got so much hay. Um, so metal alloys from ore, that is not doing anything now because we haven't got any ore, I don't think. Metal alloys from scrap. And then we've got bricks. Yeah, both of you work on bricks. So yeah, do that until we've got 200 bricks because that could just be a fun thing. And then maybe we can make some more stuff. What have we got that's new under that? Oh, the distillery. Okay, we could start making alcoholic beverages or sweet syrup, but we can pick up sweet syrup from elsewhere. That's not too much of a bother right now. We can do some, you know, do some of that on our own. We can go and get that from you know, the local area. Let's just make sure you butcher this stuff. Some leather there as well, which is good. Butchering a scarabay. The man hunting glutch is also just insect meat. So we should have a fairly hefty pile of insect meat now. Um, yeah, we have over 1,000 raw food. Uh, enough for 109 meals. So we've got some uh, raw red meat, which is good. They came from the shogu, I think it was. Uh, loads of insect meat, loads of buttermelons, loads of pickled vegetables. Not much in the way of dandelion spores. How are we looking for tea? Ah, no, it's okay. The tea is good. Phew. <laughs> Yeah, priorities and everything, but yeah, there we go. Um, and we need to get these walls back in. So defense and fence and poles, please. Oh, hang on. Defense, fence, brick. Is it worth having a little brick wall? Can we bake some bricks incredibly quickly and have a little brick wall going on? Because I would really quite like a brick wall. Um, we are, oh, hang on. Yeah, we are trying to do this, look. I think it takes a very long time. Okay, this could be. I'm just hoping we don't get um, we don't get attacked again. It's unlikely we're going to get attacked again so soon after the previous one. So maybe we'll have time to get some bricks made and just build a little bit of a brick wall here, just because I think that'd be fun. I like the idea of having a kind of a proper brick wall going on. That would be quite wonderful. Can we build brick fortifications? And no, it's only wooden ones. Um, okay, never mind. We'll have brick walls going around the front bit, just because that'll make it look a bit nice. So wonderful. Um, right, I think, yeah, Vanessa was a bit poorly, but now she's okay. Layla, I think, is recovering as well, probably from the toxic ash. Uh, right, what do we go for now in terms of research? We are flying through it. Uh, let's get these mask things, because I think, again, a few people in the comments said they would be quite good, particularly to give to Nova when she goes on her missions, when they'll be quite good now, look, because of toxic ash. So we'll get that. We'll get grenades. So that's nice and quick. I'm just looking at sort of quick stuff. Um, I mean, maybe laser pistols might be quite handy. So that's allegedly two days, but I think we do things significantly quicker. Um, I'm going to put camp management off for a little while because I don't know what that does, and I suspect it's going to be confusing. Leather armor, look. Just clear that out of the way. And... I mean, force field barriers. Okay, how would that work? I don't necessarily think we need those. It's going to be a huge drain on the power, isn't it? Yeah, it even says that there, look. Such a barrier will be an immense drain on the power grid. So maybe we don't go for that. Um, I'm trying to pick the next quickest one. But the next quickest one is cereal coffee. And I'm a bit reluctant to unlock the secrets of coffee because tea is better. Uh, do you know what? We'll just go for it. There we go. Right, we're going to look at coffee, everybody. That's the last on the list, though. Okay, we have one furnace making bricks. I'm not quite sure why the other one isn't making bricks. So there's Dave the Drone, who's already grabbed the bricks from that one. That was pretty quick. But can Dave the Drone not also deliver the resources to the furnace to get it working? Or does that have to be done by a person? Maybe Dave the Drone can't do that. Maybe Dave has to just collect things once they're ready. Because, yeah, that one is now not doing anything. And that one wasn't doing anything for ages. So yeah, it's awaiting materials. So it needs somebody to go and load it up with hay. And then once it's done, Dave can then fly back out here and pick up the stuff. There we go. So yeah, that's now doing some stuff. That's now making bricks, which is good. And that should also hopefully be making bricks. So, okay, wonderful. We've researched respirator mass. I mean, the research, look at it. Look at the speed that the research is going. It's going to take you know, hours and days and things. I mean, that's going to be done in a minute. It's going to be done shortly. It's not even... It's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning and we've already uncovered the secrets of respirator masks and grenades. Tell us, well done. I'm very impressed. Okay, so we can now make grenades, like sort of stick grenade type things. Um, but okay, yep, that's good. Respirator masks. Ah, 
Now they require 20 of that. Where is it? It's in here. 20 of these synthetic textiles. And we can't make any more of those, I don't think. However, 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 we can do that. Chemical cloth synthesis. So we can turn 10 fuel into 10 of the synthetic cloth stuff, synthetic textiles, which could be useful because making those masks would be quite a handy thing. So do you know what? We'll queue that up and we'll queue up purple leaf cloth as well. Let's just try and just complete all of the research. We'll just go and try and do it all because why not? Right, so run time on nice and quick and then let's look down here then so defense just check we can't build sort of uh yeah brick fortifications or anything but we can now build a little brick fence I and mean, we could build a stone fence we could build a stone fence because we have got loads of stone not quite sure why we have that much stone i must have told them to go and grab a load of stone once upon a time and they've dutifully gone and done that and i've not really noticed um but a little brick wall would be quite good we do only have five bricks so it might take a long time. Maybe, maybe it might be worth keeping the bricks. I mean, what do they, what's the advantage of bricks over anything else? I mean, yeah, what's the advantage of, say, having brick walls? Is that better at keeping the heat in or whatever? Good thermal insulation as opposed to wooden plank wall, which is medium thermal insulation. Okay, so might it be worth using the bricks to build the walls of our main building here rather than the little walls out here and then we build the little walls out of stone like a little so it'd be like a, a like a nice sort of village area where you have sort of little stone walls going on and sort of farm plots over here it'll be like a little quaint village with a little sort of stone walling project going on maybe that's what we do so we'll have stone walls here um yeah stone does have medium thermal insulation yeah that's got good thermal insulation so yeah i think we build it all out of bricks so that can be one of our big projects so they can just keep making bricks for a long time we might have to possibly up that to 300 so let's do that so if you've not got enough alloys or scrap to make um to, uh, not alloys or or scrap to make alloys then make bricks and that's fine we can make loads and loads of bricks and then eventually start replacing these rooms with brick rooms, which will be lovely. But right now, little bit of a hole in the defences. So let's get a stone fence. Hang on a minute. What's the thing about stone fences then, as opposed to the pole one? So integrity 50, integrity 60. Okay, so I've got a little bit more going on. I mean, carbon, carbon nanotubes, they would be quite exciting. It would be quite fun to have an entire base surrounded by carbon fencing. But we haven't made any carbon nanotubes yet because we haven't got a 3D printer. I mean, we could make one. It requires, oh, we couldn't make one. It requires five electronics and we only have four right now and we haven't got enough resources to make any more. We are lacking, I imagine, silicon. Yeah, we've only got five. Bother, okay. That's a little bit of a nuisance. Nova, would you like to go out on another fun trip? Because sometimes you do bring back useful stuff. Um, how about expeditions? We won't do that one just yet, or that one. So what else do you have? Spaceship debris, cruise ship stuff, control modules. So that again looks like a sort of a, a sort of fixed thing that we have to play in the game. Because it doesn't sort of expire or anything like that, whereas other things do tend to expire, or you have remaining visits. How about we nip over and look at the cruise ship bits. That'll do. So Nova, off your pop. Go and look at some cruise ship stuff. Nova gets all the fun trips out. She gets to do all the fun stuff. She gets to go on lots of holidays. A little bit jealous of Nova, but there we go. Right, so pop into that. Shortness of breath and in moderate pain. Okay, not great. Maybe you can fly away from the ash. Fly away from where the ash is, Nova, and just hold your breath for quite a long time. Um, so yeah, what do we do here then? Do we just put the stone wall in for now with a long-term goal of having some like nano carbon tube walling going on at some point in the future i think that might be the best course of action i think that might be what we do is hang on a minute fences because yeah that is going to take yeah three lots of carbon nano tubes to make one single bit of wall and i've got no idea how complicated it is to make carbon nano tubes i'm not 100% sure what they are if I'm being honest but um 
But yeah, there we go. That's fine. A low barrier that diverts most animals from their path. A little bit concerned it says most there and not all. But no, let's have a little sort of a nice wall like that going out. Hang on, just make sure it connects up over there. Yeah, okay. So stone wall for now. And then, yeah, I think we replace the whole thing with stone. That'd be quite good. Can we have stone towers? Can we have stone towers? In fact, hang on, I think a few people said, nope, not that button. I wanted the research button. Concrete rooms is quite good for that. I think somebody said, yeah, you can start making stuff out of concrete, which includes the towers. I'm fairly certain that's what they said. Solar roofs, research carbon rooms. Okay, we need to make carbon nanotubes because then we can have solar paneled roofing, which would be amazing because then we can just get energy from the roof, which we're not doing anything with at any other point. Oh, there we go. Look, concrete fortifications, carbon fortifications. Okay, it's down here then. Right, so find or produce concrete, find or produce carbon nanotubes. Okay, maybe we should go for carbon nanotubes then. Right, coffee, away with you. We didn't really want to put you in the list anyway. Sorry, coffee. And then concrete rooms, yes. Get that in and we'll see what we can do. We do have though plenty of stone to get this all set up. I mean, 758 bits left and they've just put loads of it over here. So I think we should be okay doing that. We've got the mass, that's good. Well, one of our solar panels has gone a bit wonky. That's never good. That's not good. How are we looking for power? It's looking pretty good. Power's looking very nice indeed. Yeah, we don't really want them malfunctioning. We don't really want these malfunctioning. Does it affect the um, solar panels? Yeah, they supply less power. So the fact that they're providing less power anyway and one is broken isn't brilliant. Okay, never mind. That's generating numbers. Okay, that showed us the what it was generating, did it? Oh, okay, <laughs> just that one. Vanessa's gone outside to look at a dog statue and now she's caused herself pain. Also, she just used a ladder to climb up there when the steps... <laughs> okay, that's a bit strange. Oh, no. Okay, one of the batteries has malfunctioned. That battery there, that is a bit of a nuisance because I believe it's lost all its charge. Okay, um, Talas, can you go and fix that, please? Repair the battery. That would be good. Um, cruise ship bits. Okie dokie. Um, I came across a couple of open containers with scratches and tooth marks. I suspect they were recently opened by some curious animals who seemed to have eaten what they could and left the useless things like first aid kits, canisters with vegetable soup and grains. It's a lot to take in one trip, but I'm afraid that whatever gets left behind will not be salvageable later. Oh, okay. So we have to pick one of these and then that's going to be it. It's not going to be there when we come back. Um, first aid kits. We have got 48 of those. We're probably okay. And I think we can make our own. Soup. I mean, food is always good. We're not going to turn down food. We have got a decent supply of food going on. Or grain. But we can grow our own grain. We've got no grain right now. But we do grow quite a lot of it. So, um, I mean, I suppose it would be useful. And we'd freeze the grain. And we turn it into oil and fuel and everything else. Uh, but then soup is just a good sturdy supply of food, isn't it? Just stock upon soup. And then that's just less to worry about in terms of food. Joe, you know I'll do that. We'll freeze it. It'll be frozen. So it just stay there forever. Get the soup. Why not? That's fine. Yeah, first day kits. We've not made a first day kit. I think we've actually crafted one, have we? What do you, what do you need to make one of those? Hang on a minute. Um, is it a tool? Uh, survival kit. No. No, it is not. Okay, it's not a tool. Okay, never mind. Um, is it just uh, just a regular crafting thing? Yeah, there you go. First aid kit is bandages and antibiotics. Oh, okay, that's fine. And we don't need that right now. We don't need to do that right now because there's no real point. I think we've, we're okay for meds. I think we're okay. Um, yeah, there. Got 11 bandages. It might be worth making more bandages, possibly. Got until 10. I oh, don't know. Do it until 20. That'll do. We can take this spear out of the thing, I think. We don't need to uh, craft any more spears. Uh, good luck charms. Yep, that's been reached. Again, I think I've done it slightly too much with the umbrellas, but there we go. So we've got three good luck charms in stock, three umbrellas. Is there anything else we want? Anything else? Um, ooh, harvesting tools. Okay, that could be useful. Earplugs. When did we unlock all these things? <laughs> Earplugs. Okay, that's quite exciting. Survival kit. That's all sorts of bits and bobs. 
the mask, night goggles, signal flares, grenades. Um, harvesting tools I'm interested in because Annette would quite like those. Maybe Annette and Jayla because they do a lot of farming. So it could make sense to get them those. It is a lot of alloys though. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's going to be 60 alloys. That's quite a lot. Maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Okay, never mind. Right, run time on nice and quick. People are eating pies. They're having a lovely time in there. They're having a wonderful time. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Oh, somebody's got somebody's got swarm fever. That's a bit of a nuisance. I'm sure they'll go and help Layla. There we go. Look, Layla's been treated. That's all fine. She also reached crafting three, which is pretty good. We could do with the toxic ash going away. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. I looked at our electronics and it's gone down to two because I think we used a couple of bits to repair the solar panel. I think that's where they've gone. So we're down to two bits of electronics, which is not wonderful. And yet yeah, it was silicon that we were lacking, wasn't it? I mean, these are looking pretty good. These are looking pretty good. Are there any, whatever they're called, I get what they're called, silicon leaves anywhere nearby? Could we just go and grab some? Is it worth just trying to find a few nearby? I don't think there are any nearby. No, I can't find any nearby. Um, no. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe it might be worth having a look, but not to worry. Given that we do have a gigantic storage room just here, and it's not really got much in it, um, is it worth just going to grab some resources just to put them up here just in case? So, for example, over here, look. We've got all these things, all the skin bark. Um, I imagine if we put it indoors, it just stays there forever. So could we just, could we just sort of grab, say, that lot just there? Grab that. Uh, and you know, we'll grab that up there as well. So yeah, cut all of the grass and harvest all the skin bark you can. Just go there and grab all that. That'd be useful. Ooh. Uh, oh no, hang on. That's the stuff we've already seen, isn't it? Mulch chews. Do you know what? Harvest that as well, because that gets us some nice stuff. That could be lovely. Uh, anything over here we could harvest? How about the dandelion trees? Harvest that, just because, again, we've got loads of storage space. We might as well do something with it. In fact, grab some more skin bark here as well. Just harvest that. That'll do. Just keep yourself busy. Is it worth, given that we have got this kind of magic power? Hang on. I want to go and grab the stuff from there as well. Uh, yeah, harvest all the lovely syrup from there. Um, is it worth uh, just sort of zooming out a bit and grabbing say doing that to a big area and seeing whether we find anything new because last time we looked at the food things that we can prepare and we're lacking various ingredients um what they're called they look like big red tomatoes i forget what they're called what they're called beef berries beef berries that's what they were called we'll grab those as well actually um so i mean is it worth just doing a speculative kind of grab over there say and seeing what there is. Um, seven survivors? <laughs> what? There's not seven survivors over there, is there? We must have selected the survivors down here. But yeah, looking over here and seeing if there's something new. Fern bushes. Have we ever clicked on a fern bush before? Have we ever clicked on that before? Um, oh, I don't think we have. Observe. Observe a fern bush. Okay, so there's a new thing right there. There's a new thing to go and look at. I kind of feel like this is a little bit... Doing this feels a little bit cheaty. It feels a little bit like we shouldn't be able to do this because it just seems a bit wrong, doesn't it? We're just kind of using our magic power to go, yes, I see all these things. Oh, there's loads. Three dogs? What? <laughs> we can't have all... Oh, there's three dogs. There's a Great Dane and a... I don't know how somebody told me how to say that. A Vimarana, possibly. And then a box of... Oh, there's three more dogs over there. Oh, no. We can't go and rescue all the dogs. <laughs> we can't do all of that. Um, anything new over there? No. I, I do wonder if those other things are on this map. I do wonder if we do have those. Ooh. Um, that. That looks bad. That's an insect nest. Okay, that will spawn new insects. Okay, that's a little bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Um, yeah, up here, look. There's a ship part there. Um, anything anything interesting over here going on? No. I, I do feel like that's a little bit... That's sort of abusing our sort of, you know, magic floating around in the sky god powers a little bit there. Uh, we'll, ju we'll just abuse our power just one more time just there. 
Anything over here? Uh, wide-leafed plants. Okay, I'm interested. Where is a wide-leafed plant? Oh, oh, okay. That's a new thing as well. Okay, and now we shall stop abusing our god powers, although there are some silicon leaves there. In fact, all the silicon leaves harvest what we can because we need silicon to make electronics and the more we have, the easier it is. It does require a little bit of travel, but this is okay. I think our wall is in, look. Yeah, there we go. The little low wall is in, which is quite nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it looks a bit different. Nova's come back. Hello, Nova. And you've brought with you... 30 lots of soup. Oh, that'll be very good. That'll keep us going for a good long time. Dave the drone is absolutely flying about the place, doing lots of useful stuff. Ember's transporting stuff. I like they climb up the walls. <laughs> they don't use the stairs we gave them. They use a ladder and climb up the walls. But okie dokie, that's absolutely fine. Ah, yes, another thing we want to do. We want to, if we can, wooden plank roof deconstruct. Right. Peep in the comments, I am putting my faith in you with this because I wasn't sure what would happen if we did this to the roof. But um, yes, there are 234 wooden plank roof bits. I am assured by many people in the comments that if we take the roof off, it'll just look like that. So underneath, kind of from this angle, there is just... Hang on, can we look like that? Can we go in? There's just a ceiling, look. It doesn't kind of go up to the point of the roof. We don't see, like, up inside the eaves or whatever. So... I'm assured in the comments that if we take the roof off, that's just going to be big and flat. So here we go. Deconstruct the roof, please. Which seems like a terrible idea, but there we go. That's what we're doing. We're taking apart the roof, <laughs> which could be awful. It could be a disaster. Uh, looking good at unlocking laser pistols. This is wonderful. We're about to lose some of our... I bet that's in the dog bowl, isn't it? I bet that's for the dogs. But there we go, never mind. Uh, ah, yes, we were going to move the dogs up here as well. I think maybe in the new bit of room that we actually sort of uh, extend out, we could have a little sort of animal room, which would be quite nice. And look, there we go. Thank you, commenting people. Thank you. I wouldn't really realise that. I thought that it was supposed to be sort of... Um, that was supposed to be, you know, go up into the roof that you take the roof off and there'd be a big hole. But no, that's not how it works. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. Discovery fern bush. It's just an ordinary bush. It could be cut down for sticks. I didn't notice anything of interest. Okay, so just a regular bush, but that's okay. We're going to lose that. We've lost those things to harvest, I assume, because they've fallen apart or, yeah, the plants have died or whatever, or they've been eaten by animals. Tea boiling. Okay, oh, hang on. Smoke leaf. The wide leaves of this plant are remarkably similar to a rare and expensive type of tobacco. It actually got banned on my homeworld a few years ago, and its price shot up even higher. Don't ask me how I know this. I'm assuming that Yoko did this. <laughs> you seem like the person to be into all this kind of shady stuff, Yoko. Anyway, if I'm correct, these smoke leaf plants contain several alkaloid stimulants, which can be drawn out by drying the leaves. Grind them, stick them in a pipe, and you get a great mood booster. No hangovers or other side effects that I know of. Okay, so smoke leaf, planting of smoke leaf in farms, drying of it on the drying rack. We can make pipes. Tea boiling technology for research. Okay, tea boiling. We can make... It's We can we can make proper tea. Not just special tea or stimulant tea or whatever. It's just, We can just make tea. Okay, do you know what? We're going to queue that up as well. Have we got a gap? No, we haven't. Botherations. Oh, hang on. Tea boiling. We've got to find and get smoke leaf. Yeah, winemaking that requires fruit. Oh, that's what we were lacking in the cooking thing as well, wasn't it? We couldn't find much in the way of fruit either. Um, okay, so where was... Come out of that. Where was that stuff? It was over here, was it? Was it over here somewhere? Um, oh, now I don't know where it was. Was it that? Is it that? Is it just there? No, it's definitely not just there. Where was the smoke leaf stuff that we just found? Um, is it in here somewhere? There we go. Smoke leaf. Um, harvest all of that. Are these kind of dotted around up here? So harvest those if you can. And then, yeah, we'll unlock that maybe at some point. But there we go. I mean, people are very busy right now. Let's just let them get on with all the stuff that we've told them to do. Can you grab all this stuff over here? They've done that pretty well. 
grab all that there, but then we've got them, I know, doing stuff over here and transporting stuff around and building walls and taking apart roofs and everything else. So let's just give them a while, shall we, to just, you know, go and do some stuff, go and do all the things that we've asked them to do. Oh, hang on, a bit of spaceship just fell down, I think. Where did that go? Um, oh, okay. It's just over the hill over here. Okay, so it's a little bit distant, but not too bad. And I think we do need to go and do some more spaceship part scavenging to try to get some more scrap metal to then make some more alloys because that's kind of what we're lacking now. Alloys are indeed becoming a bit more precious and rare, which people in the comments did say. So anyway, well done, people in the comments. You are indeed correct. So let's see. Is it worth going to there and scavenging that? We're not near anything kind of horrific or horrendous. We're not going past one of the big kind of nest things, are we? I don't think so. It's just sort of out the front over there. What's that? Uh, oh, okay, that might also be useful. Hang on, grab that as well. We'll mine that all because that also turns into lovely, lovely um, alloys eventually when we smelt it down. So that's going to be quite good. Um, yeah, there you go. Day of the drone just zipping around doing loads of stuff. Oh, we've got a new Great Dane. Oh, of course we have. Okay, uh, whereabouts is the new Great Dane? Where's our newest puppy? Where are you? Hang on a minute, newborn. Oh, there, you're right there in front of me. Oh, look at you, you're teeny tiny. Okay, we're going to train you. That's fine. Um, okay, so we've got Buddy and we've got Monroe. So they are the original two dogs that we sort of tamed from out there. And then, of course, they've had Wuffles McBarkington and then this new one here. Um, okay, right. What do we call you then, new dog? We've already got Wuffles McBarkington, so why don't we go for Barkles McWuffington? I don't think we've ever had a Barkles McWuffington in any Geek Cupboard video ever. So there we go. Welcome Barkles McWuffington to go with your sibling Wuffles McBarkington there. So let's have a quick look at you. So your female, what is Wuffles McBarkington? Wuffles McBarkington is a male. Okay, so a male. Do we know what type of dog you are? I'm not entirely sure if we can work out what type of dog you are by looking at you. Does it does it give us a clue? I'm not sure. Maybe we have to go into here, do we? Do you have to go into here? Famous dog breed. Okay, I don't know what type of dog you are. You look a bit like the other two, but I can't really tell the difference. But okay, whatever the case. Um, there we go. So, Barkles McWuffington and then Wuffles McBarkington. Wonderful. There we go. I like that. that. I'm happy with that. That's all very good. Jailer got to farming three. Clear the spaceship thing out. Okie dokie. And Nett's going to go over here and do some harvesting with Layla. Oh. Oh. They've gone to Layla. They've changed to Layla. Okay. So, yes, one of their things is that they kind of switch personalities. So, um, yeah, Jayla was the personality of that particular individual when we found them. Uh, and they were quite happy and they were good at music. But now we've got Layla. So switch to Layla. And Layla is a little bit gloomy and also cannot play an instrument to save their life at all. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, okay, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, as cheerful and musically minded Jayla is, as gloomy and tone deaf is Layla. Wonderful. Okay, so Layla has made an appearance. I don't know if they've made an appearance before. I've never noticed them be there before. And I didn't see when they appeared this time around. We've researched laser pistols. That is wonderful. Um, have we got the uh, Layla Reach crafting for? We haven't gone to get the smoke leaf stuff yet. But that's okay. That's okay. We're keeping them busy with everything else. And the final bits of roof are done. Okay. So we can now think about getting some more rooms along here maybe we do need some more bedrooms because of course down here we do have Layla as it is now sharing with can't quite recall whose bed it is uh, Nova yeah so Nova and Jayla slash Layla share a room they ideally want their own rooms so I think what we do is uh, go back up here we've got a half decent amount of wood I thought maybe we might have reclaimed more wood from taking down those roof bits there, but maybe not. So if we get that entire bit just zoned out as a big room, if we can get the wood for that, and then we'll break it up into smaller bits later on. But I think what we might do is we might have a bit of a corridor running along here and the rooms can all be on that side because we can't replicate what we have underneath because, of course, it's four squares narrower because it's sort of smaller on the top. So maybe that's what we do. Let's try and do that now, shall we? The only thing is, do we build it out of wood? 
Or do we start building things out of brick? Because it's better for the thermal insulation stuff. Do we just start doing it out of brick now? Is that even going to work? I'm not entirely sure. And what does it look inside? If we have brick walls on the inside, can we can we plaster them, put wallpaper up? That'd be quite nice. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, shall we? And again, we won't put a roof on it. We'll just do we'll just do a ceiling like this. Okay, so brick. So yeah, very uh, good thermal insulation, very strong support. Okay, the wooden plank is strong support. Okay, if we put bricks on top of the wooden planks, is that going to be bad? Is that going to be a bad thing? Do we need to start replacing all this with brick? Is is that a good idea? Oh, now I don't know. Can we upgrade it somehow? Um, reconstruct. Ah, task survivors to reconstruct this structure with other materials. Ah, okay. That's quite useful. Oh, that's quite good. That's a very handy feature. Okay, so if we said 403... Hang on a minute. All of the pla Why is it not grabbing all of the plank ceiling? There's one bit that it's decided to ignore in the corner. There. Okay, so all of the plank ceilings. Um, oh, but now it's grabbed those ones there. I don't want the ones on top of there. Although possibly we should go for that anyway. Um, reconstruct with brick. Uh, requires very strong base. Bricks, carbon, concrete, metal. Uh, okay, so we can't put that as brick because it's on stone. You're trying to tell me that stone stone can't support brick. <laughs> Are you sure, game? Are you sure? Okay, right. We're not going to do anything with that right now. Uh, we have scavenged. Ooh, a piece of armor, possibly. Okay, that could be interesting. Um, have we got it back? Uh, is it a t-shirt? Um, no, I don't think it's made its way back to us just yet, has it? I don't think it's quite in storage, but maybe soon it will be. No, no, still not kind of back. Unless somebody's just taken it and put it on immediately. Somebody could have put that on. Ember's got the, yes, yeah, a, th a synthetic vest. Okay, so who would like to wear that? There we go, right, it's back. I mean, Nova gets involved in fights and... She goes out and does various trips, and maybe wearing some sort of you know, armour type thing would be quite useful for her. That would be quite handy indeed. Uh, okay, right, wonderful. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned now that our stone base isn't going to be enough. Um, how are we doing with concrete rooms? How are we looking for that research-wise? Can we move that? Hang on, how do we push that to the Q first? So shift and click, yeah. Um, oh, okay, it's pushed it in front of leather armour. That's okay, that's fine. I'm not so bothered about that. We lost some more harvest stuff, but that's not too much of a bother. Um, how are we doing for silicon? 90. 90 silicon. Okay, so once we've finished doing all of the scavenging that I've told you to do, because I have told you to go and grab quite a lot of stuff, I think yeah, you're grabbing that there, you're grabbing that there, and then have you got the smoke leaf stuff from here? Uh, no, but Annette is out there doing that. Uh, oh no, you're get ah, you're bringing back silicon. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Um, so once that's all done, maybe yeah, we can get back to doing some crafting over here, because I think most people have been spending their time doing sort of scavenging and resource gathering rather than doing crafting and stuff. So there we go. We'll see how we get on. Oh, yeah, look, we've got an entire sort of half field of grain over there, ready to go and be harvested. So there we go, a shooting star. We've seen that a bajillion times. Oh, Kaduk. We might go and look for it. We probably won't do. And then I think in the morning, we'll send over out on another fun trip out to go and grab some more stuff. Do you know, there is one thing that I wish we could research, and that's some sort of roller skates for Annette there, because Annette is very slow. I mean, it's okay. She takes her time, and that's fine. You know, she takes life at a leisurely pace. But she went all the way over there to grab all those silicon leaf things. And I think it took her pretty much the entire night to walk from there all the way over here and then walk around the sort of corridor bit and then into here. It took a very long time. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, if we could invent her some sort of, I don't know, rocket roller skates or something, that would be particularly fantastic. A solar flare has affected six of our devices. Okay, so devices with built-in CPU cores. So, remind me, what does that mean? So, the two air conditioners, okay, so they're going to use more power. The motion sensor is going to use more power. The two turrets, but they're off, so that's okay. And the advanced research desk 
is also going to be draining more power. Bother. Okay, right. I think then, how we're we looking for fuel, only 50 fuel. Why is that? Why are we not doing so much fuel stuff anymore? What are we making fuel out of in here? Oils and fats. Not enough resources. Do we not have enough oils and fats? Um, hang on, where's our press thingamajig? Oh, hang on a minute. We need that harvest to be done. Okay, right. This is going to be fun. I think this is going to be good. So switch that back on. So somebody go and turn the generator on. Um, because, yes, I suspect we're going to need to top up the power a little bit, given that the solar flare is affecting all of our devices. So maybe yeah, we do need a little bit more power, although that is you know, topping up quite well. Um, is that switched on? No. Can not tell us? You normally go and do stuff like that. Is that what you're doing now? Uh, yeah, handling the diesel generator. Okay, so you go and stock that up, please. Uh, right, so it had a little bit of fuel in it anyway. So hopefully that little boost can just charge the batteries up ever so slightly, just to make sure we don't run out of out of fuel, because that would be a bit of uh, not out of fuel, out of power, because that would be a nuisance. Uh, we've researched concrete rooms. This is very good. This is really exciting. Okay, so concrete rooms is done. So um, how would we hang on? Yeah, flooring. So that floor, the stone floor isn't good enough. So how would we make a concrete floor? Bake concrete in a furnace. Okay, so good thermal insulation, very strong support. Or we could have a brick base. I kind of feel like a concrete base would be a better thing. Okay, so a concrete base. Um, I mean, these things here are churning out bricks all the time. And also some, some alloys now, which is good. We like the alloys. That's a good thing. We want them to make lots of alloys because alloys are good. But is it worth... Hang on a minute. Production. Maybe we get an electric furnace. Because I bet that's going to do things a lot quicker. It operates at a higher speed compared to wood-burning furnaces. But it does require a lot of power. Or do we just get another furnace? Pop it just there if we can. Which we can't because it gets in the way of that window. Which is a bit of a nuisance if we're being honest. Can we move that window? Can we pick the window up? Can we move it to just there where the battery is? Yeah, okay, move that over. Put another furnace there. And then we'll have that furnace making concrete. Solely making concrete. Right, they've moved the window, which is good. <laughs> Don't know how that works. Just pick up the window and move it. The wood just fills in automatically on this side. Right, so then, yeah, production-wise, we're in no rush for concrete. I just would like to get it all sorted out. But I do want to get the upstairs done as well. But if we're going to do it... Or they'll just build out of wood and then upgrade it later, possibly. Let's put that in for now. So if somebody could come and do this, we're scavenging lots and lots of lovely, uh, lovely scrap metal there to turn into alloys. That's wonderful. Leather armor is done, which is wonderful. Um, Yoko got to cooking eight. Yoko is doing some wonderful chef work. Well done, Yoko. Yeah, if we could get that done. And a thunderstorm. I was thinking we haven't had much in the way of storms recently. It's supposed to be the rainy season, but we haven't really seen much in the way of storms. But here we go. There's a storm, and maybe if the lightning rods get hit, we could top the batteries up a little bit. So we're going to turn off the generator. Hopefully someone's going to do that. There you go. Talas has turned it off because the batteries do look full. But then, yes, if, if we do get a few hits of lightning, they could keep topping the batteries up for a good long time, which is wonderful. Right, here we go. So that furnace is on it's making alloys from scrap oh okay i didn't want you to do that but okie doke we'll let that finish and then we'll take that out did i copy one of these or is that just the default thing that a furnace does maybe that's a furnace default kind of option or something but yeah if we could if we could there hang on, what are we researching now chemical cloth okay so get this up to 100 percent because i don't want to kind of ruin the progress so far okay doke. and then get rid of that and then bake concrete. So what's that? Stone. Ah, we've got loads of that. Stone into concrete. So five stone becomes ten concrete. Oh, that's quite good. Do that until we have 500 concrete. I suspect we might need quite a lot of concrete to replace our stone base here with a concrete base. So we can then build brick on top of it. So we can then build brick roofs and everything else. Okay, it's going to be complicated, this big upgrade. 
but I think it would be quite good to get it done. But in the meantime, because now I know that we can upgrade certain materials with other ones, let's just get that big room zoned out. We'll make it out of wood. It's better than having a wood, a wooden room rather than no room at all. So let's get that done, shall we? So let's get the ceiling bit in first. We shall have that like that. Because, yeah, it's good. It's an okay thing. Bring that down. So hang on. So it's going to be... Oh, it can't exceed that size. But I think that's exactly the same size. That's that's the right size we wanted it to be, which is good. Okay, right. Happy with that. And then one last thing I would like to do do um although yeah we did mention at the very start of the video was to get a flak cannon set up the only thing is I'm not quite sure how that's going to work in terms of the motion sensor because our one motion sensor is there that kicks these two big shooty guns into life which is good but if do we want to put the maybe that motion sensor should live on the roof and then if it detects anything around here? Or do we need multiple motion sensors on the corner of the roof? And then if it picks up anything at all within range of the roof, the flat cannons start firing? I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. This bit's easy because they're coming through here and then we shoot at them. There's one way in, we know where to look. But up on the roof, it's a little bit more vague, isn't it? Okay, okay, never mind. I think what we'll do is we're a bit of wood down which is no great surprise. There are plenty of trees. So how about we go over there and we chop down the big tropical tree and those trees there. Get rid of those. That's going to be absolutely fine. Maybe as well get rid of some of these. Use the manure if you want to. Cut those down too. So a huge big supply of wood, which is going to be very nice. Um, what are they? Oh, they're dead. They're dead, those things. Okay, that's fine. Right, so plenty for people to be doing. We're flying through chemical cloth research. We scavenged some fuel, which is handy. That's a good thing. I'm glad we did that. How many scavengers have we done? Five out of six. Okay, so we're on the final bit of scavenging over here, which is good. So we'll clear that out. And then, and I don't know, we'll see how we get on with this bit up here. We're doing some building work. We are doing some work, look. But I don't think they can complete it. Yeah, they're out of wood, look. So they can only complete the bits that are purple. We now need to wait for the rest of the wood to be chopped down and delivered so they can finish that little bit off. And then, of course, we need more for the walls and the internal stuff and the doors and everything else. So, okay, right, that's not quite done yet, but yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Okay, let's look at what we need to do to get a flak cannon. Let's take a quick look at that. So where are they? So automated turret, flak cannon, is one CPU core and 50 alloys. Oh, okay. So it's not a piece of electronics. It's a CPU core. We've got seven of those. Okay, 30 power. I mean, right now, we could put one on that corner. We could attach it to that motion sensor for now, and then later on move it onto a different circuit, because they've got control circuit things. So why don't we put that on the corner facing out like that. So we'll have two sort of facing out in that direction. In fact, maybe, oh, that area's blocked. <laughs> Bother. Yeah, the sort of pylon thing is in the way. That's a bit of a nuisance. Unless we put it over, we'll put this one over here, maybe, actually. Let's take it over here. So they, they can face sideways, because, of course, they can turn round. So if we put that one there, and then, yeah, wait for it to get put together, and then it's going to go, it'd be part of that motion sensor thing. I mean, yeah, it's only going to pick stuff up if anything flying comes this way. So it might not be overly useful, but Joe, you know that's fine. Layla got to farming four. This is good. We need another farmer person. So Layla or Jailer is doing a great job. Um, yeah, there we go. Automated defense station, specially designed to shoot aerial targets. That is going to be very good. So it's almost ready. It's almost done, look. The, oh, day of the drone. Day of the drone just popped that in. That's brilliant. Insufficient storage space. 154. Oh. Oh. Okay, we can't store all of our food. <laughs> right, okay, we're, we're too good at food. Um, maybe, hang on, electronics is at two. Do we get ourselves? We've got loads of grain in there. Does grain need to go on a shelf? Um, no, it, it does go off. It does go off. Okay, I think everything in here does go off eventually. 
Yeah, the antibiotics also do it. We put... Who put me? <laughs> no. 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 That We do not put manure in the freezer. That's where the food is kept. Who on earth has been putting manure in there? <laughs> Which maniac has been doing that? There's not manure in there, is there? We do not store... We don't store poop in the kitchen. That's not how this works. That's outrageous and revolting. Okay, I think maybe get another freezer set up and just copy that setup now that it's all done. Why would you store hides in there? Why would you store hides? Maybe we could have that one that stores hides. And skin bar, we don't need to store that. Um, under if it's two years. Uh, yeah, we won't store that. We can store the smoke leaf in there and the bush rooms. And the antibiotics in another in another one. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what we do. Hang on a minute. So, where are we? Storage. Freezer. <laughs> we'll just put it opposite that one, look. It can go like that. And they can just run into that gap there. Yeah, that'll do. It's the light in the way. Um, I'm not quite sure where the light is in there. It's fine. There we go. Right, get that done, please. Oh, they're working on the ceiling bit upstairs. That's pretty good. Looks a bit weird because they're kind of floating around. But right, you are. Yeah, if we could get that done. I quite like that. All the bits are in. So if somebody could just come and, well, whatever you hit it with now. It used to be a hammer, but you don't use a hammer anymore because you're all fancy now. Um, yeah, if we could get that done, that would be brilliant. But nobody's overly fussed right now. Nobody's bothered about making a freezer. Come on. We could, though. We could go to here. Copy those restrictions. Paste them onto there. But, yeah, that's fine. And then here, don't store antibiotics in that one. In fact, don't store any of the other things in that one. The other things can be stored in that one, as well as food. So that one can be for yeah, pure ingredients. That one can be for ingredients and also sort of yeah, other bits and bobs as well. So these are the things. But uh, yeah, not manure. <laughs> that's, that's not where you store manure, everybody. A kitchen is not where that should go. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it's like that, is it, game? I see. So we've built our very first flak cannon. Is it complete? Okay, we're trying to build our very first flat cannon just there. And no sooner have we actually put that down than we're being attacked by flying animals. Okay, so 21 flying insects. Botherations. Okay, whereabouts are they? They're over there. So it's unlike... Oh, they're going to come in from this side. Okay, I don't quite know how to handle this. <laughs> I don't know how to handle the flying insects. I'm not entirely sure what we do with them. Um, okay, we could do with this being complete, though. We could do with that being complete. And I think, I don't quite know how it's going to work with it. And for, Hang on a minute, hang on. Could we pick it up? Can we move it? Can we tell somebody? So I know Ember. Uh, I'm going to order you to go and work on that. Construct that turret thing. This is what we're going to do. Hopefully they're going to hold off on the attack for a while. So Ember, go and construct that turret. And then when it's done, can we pick it up and move it over there? It's raining. The surface has got kind of wet and sort of uh, shiny because of the rain. If we could just pick it up and move it over there before the attack begins, that would be particularly brilliant because they are going to come in from that angle, aren't they? So, um, okay, they've not attacked yet. I'm a little bit concerned they're going to attack before we've done it all. Okay, the flat cannon is in. Can we now pick it up and move it? <laughs> this is this is very silly, but okay. For now, just move it there. Just pick it up and move it there. I'm sure you can... Don't construct the ceiling. We want you to move the thing now, please. So how do we tell you to do that? Right, yeah, move flat cannon turret. So pick it up. You literally just carry it in your arms because you're strong and fancy like that. Okay, right. The flat cannon turret is in. It's charged up and doing something, so it's powered. We do, uh, that is going to drain our power a little bit, but I think right now it's a good thing that that's there. Uh, we're going to get attacked by 21 aggressive animals. Uh, but yeah, we don't know when. But yeah, they're definitely going to come in from this angle. So I think Annette's going to be, Annette might actually be okay because they've all got ranged weapons. So we might have to line everybody up along the roof here and, and just shoot at the animals as they come by and hope that we're pretty good shots at shooting things in the air. They're not going to come this way. Okay, right. That's intriguing. That's interesting. So that's done. How are we doing with the um, with the new freezer? That's not quite done just yet. That's a bit of a nuisance. And we've got no electronics. Okay, that's also a bit of a nuisance. I was going to build another solar panel, but never mind. I think with that done, 
we will wrap things up for now, and then we'll come back next time and see how we get on with the aggressive animal attack of the flying insects. It's going to be our first kind of aerial baddie test, and we'll see how we do. But we do at least have one piece of defence in. We have got the flat cannon in, and it can fire in a pretty wide area, to be fair. It can fire a nice wide area. So I think we'll see that get some use. That'll start doing some shooting. And then on the roof, possibly maybe over here, we might have to put a motion sensor to say if anything comes over here, shoot it, but switch off otherwise. And then do the same on that side for the other flat cannons and such like. So we'll see what we can do. We could technically get four flat cannons in. Uh, I do want to put it on the corner. I do want it to be on the corner. We need to do a bit of rejigging, but that was just you know, thrown down in an emergency sort of situation. So yeah, we'll finish up for now. Come back next time. Deal with the aggressive animals, hopefully. And yeah, if we all live and we all survive and it's all fine, then yeah, we'll sort out this bit up here because I think, yeah, all the wood is in to actually construct all this. They so just need to go and whack it with hammers. And then we'll get that whole upstairs bit done. I do want to as well. In fact, you know, we're going to do this now before I forget. Because I keep forgetting. I keep thinking, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. And lots of people have said it. A shooting target. Let's get a shooting target. The only thing is, do we put it... No, it's got to go outside. I was going to say, do we put it inside on a long corridor? But that might be a little bit dangerous. So possibly we put the shooting target, uh, I don't know, over there. There we go. Put that in as well. People can stand here, shoot at that thing. That's all wonderful. So with that done... We'll wrap things up for now, come back next time, get attacked by great big kind of flying things, hopefully survive, and then do some more building on the base over here. And then, yeah, do some more exploring as well, go in the balloon and just see what we get up to and what we find out there in the world. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. You've been sentenced to 23 years for multiple crimes, including loud humming and public nose picking. Oh my goodness me. It looks like we're serving bacon, eggs, green stuff, and whatever that might be just there. Our psychologist has been murdered by a prisoner <laughs> with a fountain pen. <laughs>